Sorry, hi guys, welcome to Jazz Tutorials. This tutorial is going to be a text effect tutorial. Um, it's very awesome. It is a bit lengthy and long to do. Um, and by that, it's just because the layer style is going in and out and all of that. That takes the time of the video. So I'm going to show you how to create this cool plasticky, bluish kind of text tutorial. I randomly came across it um, and thought it'd be cool to share with you guys. Um, so here we go. Um, right now my background's transparent because the actual background is a bunch of cool styles and stuff which I want to share with you. I did this tutorial layer by layer because it's very intricate and if I did it, you know, step by step, it would take twice as long. So I'm trying to shorten this video for you guys by doing it layer by layer. So here we go. We're going to start with the background layer and we're going to double click it and I've added a gradient overlay. Um, and you'll see it in a second. I'm not going to show you in the preview yet. Um, I chose these two blue colors hues here. Um, and that one there for the left side. Got that? Okay. And now for the right side, we're going to use this lovely blue color here. Got that? Alright. And we're good there. Alright. The blend mode's going to be multiplied if it's not already. Which I think it should be, but if it's not, change it to multiply. Okay. Opacity is 100%, and you want to have Radial selected, align with the layer, and you want to hit Reverse. And your angle and your scale will stay the same. And, okay, you got that. Now we're going to go to Satin. And you're going to hit Multiply from Blend Mode, obviously. And you're going to choose this blue color here. Alright, click OK. Opacity is 15%, and the angle is 129. Distance is one, 17, and the size is 32. Now, invert should be automatically selected. If not, select it. And then you're going to go for the contour. You're going to select these twin little dudes here. Now, if you don't have those in your um, contours already, I believe you can load those into your Photoshop. But 9 times out of 10, you have them in there. But there are some contours that are not in Photoshop, but they are in your file folder. So just go ahead and load those if you can find them. They're in the uh, presets under contour. All right, moving on. Go up here to um, contour, which we're not going to use that yet. So we're going to uncheck that. Sorry about that. Inner glow. Yes. Okay, here we go. You're going to select this darkish blue color here. Think okay. And the blend mode's going to be multiply. Opacity is 76%. And down here, have the choke at zero and the size at 199. And the quality and all that down there stays, just leave it alone. All right, click OK, and you will have something like that. That was going to be your main background for this tutorial. So with that shown, let's move on. Now, we're going to create our text. Now, I did this a different way than how um, you'll see it. So I'm going to show you what I did for that. So I went ahead and, and take took Arial Black, and I just typed Jazz, and you want to use it as, you're going to have it as white, obviously, to start with. But then, here's what's going to be cool about this. Now, we're going to merge that with a new layer. So make a new layer, and then merge those two together. Or you could just rasterize it, either one. But I like doing it this way because I'm a cool kid. Alright, and then once you have that, you're going to go over here to your Magic Wand tool. Now, before you even go to your Magic Wand tool, make sure that your layer is centered. Perfectly centered. Now, if you want to perfectly center your image, here's what you got to do. Make sure that this Move tool is selected. Click the layer. And then click over here where it says Left Vertical, vertical Center. Click that, and then click your horizontals, and click that, and it will then be centered. Mine's already centered, obviously, so I'm not gonna. It's not gonna move for me, but it will for you. All right. Once you've aligned those, then you're gonna grab the magic wand tool, and you're gonna select the entire text. Now, you could go ahead and do this. Actually, you know what? That's even easier. Go ahead and just use the thumbnail command. Click the thumbnail. That makes it so much easier. And we're going to now make a new layer above that. And we're going to change the color to a darker gray. 
Um, let's see what colors we have to choose from from a gray setting. So we're going to choose a 50% gray color, which I think, let's see, something along the center of this color will be fine. And do an alt backspace and boom. And then just do con D. All right, you should see something like that. Now, once you have that already made, then you can move ahead to what we're gonna, what I'm gonna show you next. So that's the text all set. Now, you don't have to space out your text like I did on here. Only reason why I did that is because um, in what you'll see next, it looks as though my text is morphed into blah. So yeah. All right. So before we go into the next step, you're gonna immediately go into filter. And we're going to add a Gaussian blur. And the reason for that is, is because it's going to give it that plasticky look to you want. So turn it and make sure that it is 8 pixels. All right. Ooh, hold on one. Hold on a second. Oh, all right. Here's where that mistake was just made. Haha. -ha. Even the brightest people such as I make a mistake in Photoshop. Before we even go ahead and change that color to gray, that is when we need to do the whole blue, blue, blah, blah, and the Gaussian blur. Oh no, why not? Oh. What? All right. Okay. Filter, Gaussian blur. Yay! We got a Gaussian blur. Okay. That's what you want to see. You want to see that. Then you can go ahead and merge those two together. Command merge, do do do, alrighty, yay! And then you're gonna go ahead and do this and D. All right, yes, 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 yes. You want that. That is exactly what you want to see. So sorry if I confused you for a second. Uh, that happens quite often in Photoshop with me. But uh, yay for that. So we figured it out. So there you go. You have that. Now once you're at this point, now I'm gonna show you the following steps. I'm gonna delete this layer because I'm gonna show you exactly what I did next. Okay. So, don't delete that. That was just me. All right, here we go. We're going to add our base text, which is what you... So now, on that now on the Gaussian Blur layer, you're going to add a whole bunch of styles. Pretty much almost everything. We're going to start off with the drop shadow. We'll just start from the top marker right now. All right, linear dodge. And this fine blue color will be selected. All righty. Opacity, 67%. Angle, 135 and uncheck use global light, because you don't need that. All right, and then distance is three, spread zero, size 18, and the rest down here can stay the same. Inner chateau, we're gonna choose a blue color of such. Ready? Multiply for the blend mode, 54% for the opacity, and the angle is at 120, and use global light is selected on this layer. And then distance is 15, choke is 0, and size is 10. And then again, the remaining can stay the same. Outer glow. Make sure the blend mode says darker color. Opacity is 75%. That's probably going to be normal for you, so just leave it there. Um, and then we're going to select a fine blue color of the such. Yes, that one. All right. Spread 12, size 489, and again, the rest stays the same. Outer inner glow is going to be darkened for the blend mode, and opacity will be 75%. And then you're going to choose white for the color. I don't think I need to show you what white is because you should know what white is. So, alright, moving on. Elements, we have 0 for the choke and 199 for the PX size. And then softer and edge and blah blah blah. And the rest, yeah. Alright, and then bevel and emboss. Over here, we have the depth of 164, size is 21, and the soften is 1px. Down here in shading, we have 120 for the angle, and use global light is checked off, by the way. 70 for the altitude, and the gloss contour is the same as it usually is. All right, linear dodge adds for the highlight, and color dodge for the shadow mode. Those two should be normal. If they're not, then change them right now. Linear dodge, you're gonna choose white, obviously and the opacity will be 45%. Color dodge will be this lovely blue hue here. And that opacity is 59%. All right, now we're going on to contour. You're gonna select this one here at the way end over here. This is the Gaussian contour. I know we already added a Gaussian blur, but why not add a contour to it? All right, and the range will be 50% if it's not already. 
All right, we're almost done with this one. We're going to go to satin now. So select multiply for your blend mode if it's not already selected. And then choose this lovely dark blue color here. And then make sure your opacity is 15%. Angle 129, distance at 17, and your size is at 32. And then you're going to check on your contour. Select invert. And then you're going to select these twin little ones here again. It's called the ring double. Select it and click OK. And oh, wait a minute. And voila, you will see that. You want something like that. Now, mine looks like a big, huge blob. It does say jazz, but I didn't space out my text in the beginning like I just showed you, so mine got to be one big blob. But yours will not be because I'm assuming you'll be a cool kid and space them out just a bit. Any loser, and also I didn't use capital letters. Using capital letters also makes it help not be less blobbish. Alrighty, you are then going to duplicate that layer. Oh yes, duplicating is so much fun. And we're going to uncheck everything except for bevel and emboss and satin. So double click your base and uncheck everything you just did except for bevel and emboss, contour, and satin. So then go to your bevel and emboss and you're going to switch things up a bit on your second layer. This one's going to be depth 399, size will be 21, and the soften will be 0. And then your angle and altitude will stay the same, 120 and 70, and check global light. And then your gloss contour, same thing. Um, and your highlight mode will be linear dodge add, but your opacity will be 37%. Um, white will still be your color of choice for that one. Um, shadow mode is going to be lighter color. And you will choose this lovely blue hue here. And your opacity will be 61%. Moving on to contour, we have this one over here, which I think you already had selected, but if not, select it. And that stays the same. Now to satin. Satin's going to be multiplied yet again. And 58 for the opacity. And this lovely blue tone here for your color choice. And then your... Um, Distance is 5, 21 px for your size, and 19 degrees for your angle. And your contour is the two twin peaks again, and they are inverted. Click OK, and oh, you have that. Yeah, that's pretty rad. Now, I could leave you hanging on a limb right there, but I'm not going to leave you on a hanging limb. That would be not nice of me, so... We're going to go one step further, and we're going to add some cool stuff. Oh, yay, cool stuff. All right. Um, I added some uh, white. I took a white brush, soft round brush, and I just put little circles on different points in my text to give it like a, uh, whatchamanoodle, uh, like a, I guess a glow image around the edges and stuff. Um, so for that, I made two layers. I made a layer, a layer, um... I multiplied one of the layers and dropped the opacity 20%. And then on the other one, which I broke down here, I turned that one into um, normal, and that one was 10%. And then, yeah. So that's where that little glowish hue comes in, if you can see over here. You'll see I add some glow over there. Alrighty, we are almost done, but not quite. I added a lovely curves adjustment layer to my lovely photo above every layer possible and you will then see that now you're going to basically use it so you can get a nice contrast um, a nice little s so make like an s kind of shape here and then just do it to your best um whatever looks good to you just don't add too much contrast but enough so it looks pretty cool i like this contrast it looks pretty awesome so that's why i like that but you may have different preferences i don't know and, yep, I added another uh, cool glow layer there. And that's basically it. That's all I did to it. Um, you can go and add other stuff to it if you want. I mean, that's just the basics of it. But it is a really lengthy video. I'm sorry, guys. Hopefully you stuck around to the end. If you didn't, well, that's okay. You missed out on some cool stuff. But, hey, I have other videos. And I know your time is precious, so I try and utilize my time as well um so if you like this video like it um if you had some issues or problems comment below 
Um, you can also message me if you have any ideas, um, anything you want to have, you know, shown to you, or if you have just any questions. Um, I'm always here to help. Um, I try and log on as much as possible, but, you know, with my work schedule as it is, I'm not always able to come online, but hey, I do what I can to help y'all out, and here I am. So, um, and also check out my vlog channel, Jazz Vlogs. Um, I vlog randomly over there. Not as much as I am on this channel because this channel is more important to me. But I am, however, vlogging on that channel when I can. So check that out if you want some awesome stuff. Um, I'm awesome over there and I'm awesome over here. And also follow us on Twitter at Jazz Tutorials. I just tweet random stuff sometimes or I'm being awesome on Twitter. And yay, more followers the better. So yay to that. Alright, well, if this was helpful, I'm glad it was. If not, I'm sorry yet again. So thanks for watching, everyone. And comment, like, and subscribe. Yeah, buddy. All right, bye, guys.